Yes guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can sample any kick or clap out of any record. So let's get straight into it. I will love you endlessly. So for this example, we're gonna be using a trap by Sosa called Blow White Girl in Town. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna extract the kick. So what we need to do is we need to find a section where there's no claps, no synths, no anything that's over the top of it, ideally. Um, because otherwise, if you find something else, it might end up muddy and you won't really be able to use it in your track. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a little section where there's none of them things that are over the top. So let's just play this through. Okay, so this bit here. On that initial kick hit there, there's no claps, there's no hats, there's nothing. So what we're gonna do is just gonna extract this little section. I'm gonna bring it down. So we can mute this a little bit now. So we end up with just this. Bring that to there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this little playhead here so that the sample will start exactly on where the, where the kick hits. So let's just play it to that. So what I'm gonna do as well, I'm gonna get a little one bar loop going just to make sure that we've got no hats either. Okay, so we've still got hats going on. So what we're gonna do is take that hat away and just fade that out so we've got a smooth, nice little smooth kick. Okay, but as you can hear, there's still a little bit of white noise and stuff like that on top of it. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna grab, create four tracks, and we're gonna grab this one, we're gonna put it down three times. Okay, so we're gonna be using these tracks, tracks to get the kick. So what you wanna do then is you wanna to go to your audio effects and you wanna grab a multiband compressor. So it's this multiband dynamics that we're gonna be using. So what we're gonna do is on this first one, we're gonna do solo in the highs. This one we're gonna be solo in the mids and this one we're gonna be solo in the lows. So now if we group them all together, you'll have the kick. But then if we solo each one, there's the highs there's the mids and there's the lows, the subby bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna get these tracks, we're gonna freeze and flatten them. So as you can see now visually, we've got the tops, the mids and the lows. So what we can do now, grab this down because we've only got a little bit of a hit at the start there. We wanna get rid of this white noise ideally. Grab that on, so that's just the start of the kick. So that'll be that the initial hit. And then with this one, we'll do exactly the same. Grab that to the fade out a little bit. And then the subs you can relatively keep the same, but just I, I would always just get that and just, just in case anything's bleeding through. And now, if you play it back, you've got nice smooth kick. And that's how you get the kick. So it's relatively simple. All you're doing is just soloing out your highs, your mids, your lows, taking out all the bits that are in between, stuff that you don't need, hats, whether that be you know white noise, whether that be anything, and it'll just take it all out. So there you go, you've got the kick now from that record. So that's how you do the kick. So now we're gonna move on to doing the hats. So what we can do is grab that same little section that we had before. Okay, so we've got a little hat there. So what we can do is grab that down. Again, cutting it all the way to there, grabbing it, putting it there. So we wanna do the again, start, start the playhead to where this hat symbol is starting. Grab it to probably, I'd say about there, because it's quite a short hat. And then we want to just duplicate it again down. So what we want to do then is grab your multiband compressors. Again, solo the highs on the first one, solo the mids on the second one, and on the third one, we're going to solo the lows. What you tend to find is now, that the hats won't have any lows. So what you can do normally is get rid of that, but let's just see. Okay, so you can hear, there's a little bit in the mids going on there that that's not great. It's like a poppy, clicky type of sound. So there's the highs, there's the mids, and there's the lows. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, do the same again. Freeze and flatten. 
drag these, take these little bits off. You could take the lows out because you don't need the lows. The mids, sometimes with hats as well, you don't really need to use the mids. It depends what you're going for. But sometimes it can give a nice little click at the start of a hat, but let's just see. No, see, if we take that away, you've got relatively there of what kind of hat that's being used in the record. So that's how you do that. So if we now go back to where we had that kick before, so we've got that kick there, that's all ready to go. Now what I would do then is I get another audio channel and on this bit here where it says external in, click resample in, press the arm button and then make sure that that is the bit that's soloed, is that bit that you want to use. So if you look now, on this bit here is going red. So what you could do is just drag this down and then press record. And then you've got your kick. Press back to external in and have a listen. I mean, even when you have these extended records and they'll have white noise over the top of it, if you tried to, ex even if it's just a kick by itself with some white noise, you would not be able to really use that kick in your record because there's still white noise over the top of it. This method, you can get the highs, the mids, the lows, and you can solo them, mess with them, get rid of the white noise like we did with this kick. So big up for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.